I know that everybody's crazy about Stalker Gamma right now, but does anyone remember that crazy game called Clear Sky? You know, that most beloved of all Stalker games. That one with awesome mechanics and the most streamlined and bug-free gameplay. All the user reviews which gave this game a score more than 5 have to be by the developers of the game, I'm sure. sure. There's no way a sane person would like this higher level 3. Don't I give it a 0 because it's a game, game I just want to play this game. It's close playing players even though they had no story. I said it's most likely a score. Oh yeah, it's one stalker. It's an issue. It's a cycle. 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 And for all of its problems, Clear Sky was fun at the end of the day. For those that don't know, I'd compare this to what happened with Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. While I love both, you can't deny there's issues with number 2. So Clear Sky's multiplayer was something that I never really messed with back in the day. So I want to start out by saying that maybe it was different when the servers didn't have 200 ping on average. That being said, this is still Clear Sky, so nothing really surprises me. Clear Sky's multiplayer feels like a pretty average shooter from the 2000s. There are two main factions, which are Stalkers, which are dressed as Freedom members, and Mercenaries, who are dressed as uh, Mercenaries. It is kind of odd to me that there's no variety between the Stalkers, uh, based on map choice or game mode, it's all just Freedom. Uh, but before the Freedom fanboys start cheering, the main difference between the two is that the mercenaries mainly utilize NATO weapons and the Stalker team primarily uses Warsaw Pact weapons. And I can tell you right now, it makes no sense for Freedom to use those weapons on a you know, lore basis, but I can also tell you that the Warsaw Pact weapons are overall just worse. They're, they're not good. The maps are mostly pulled from game locations. The game modes are pretty standard, and there are three game modes in total. Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, and Artifact Hunt, which is basically a glorified capture the flag. The cool thing is that maps do feature anomalies and radiation, which are placed in set locations for each map, and they can, uh, they can be fun. A really cool multiplayer feature that I did enjoy was the use of ranks. So ranks can be progressed through by kills and deaths, which are then used to access better equipment. At the novice difficulty, you'll be quite limited in what you can use. Mainly weaker weapons like submachine guns and sawed-off shotguns. While at higher ranks, you can unlock things like PKMs, Gauss rifles, and exoskeletons. But that's only if the server you're playing on has them enabled. The gameplay is what you'd expect from the OG Stalker series. It's a mix of seething rage and uplifting ecstasy. Overlooking the somewhat blatant balance issues between the two sides, there is a great deal of skill that goes into mastering the game, which has certainly been done by the somewhat active Russian player base that's keeping this game alive. Some of these skills that you'll need to master are kicking players who kill you, constant map switching, ban evasion, weapon hacks, and armor hacks, also the random headshots, the list goes on as you can imagine. Of course, many of these in-game hacks could just be due to the horrible ping spikes that are doled out by the potato-powered toasters that all the Clear Sky servers are hosted on. For skill-deficient scrubs like me, I found that the current meta is centered around the use of grenade launchers and RPGs because who needs to aim, and better yet, who can aim? There are still a surprising amount of servers that are still in operation today, which are either heavily modified or they can be simple vanilla servers. Uh, the modded servers are even buggier than the normal ones, and the download times to actually retrieve the mod package can be absurdly hilarious sometimes. All things considered, I'd give Clear Sky Multiplayer a 10 out of 10 for fun. It's a janky mess that leaves you infuriated and wondering what the hell just happened, but if you go in with some friends, it's a great time. Merk, 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 merk,
Uh-oh, Dinka joined freedom. Whoa, where, where did I get Merc from? Oh, he's on top of the roof behind us. He's on top of our spawn roof. Yeah. Got him. All right, push forward. We're going to get out of this area. I hate the L85. It's not bad though. I mean, it's bad in real life, but it's not that bad yeah. in the game. Jugging. I mean, it's not even that bad in real life. It it's had some now. reliability problems, but it goes bad. I think that's the opposite of reliability. The problem it, it didn't go bang. Very. It doesn't go bang with as much frequency <laughs> as it's supposed to. Go bang a little bit. Sometime. Sometime bang. Not even HK can make it good. I want one. Like, I wish somebody would parts kit them. I know it'll never happen because of Pongs, but... <laughs> I killed an admin. See, it's cool. Boy, it's fun. Oh. Understandable. There were, there was two Freedom guys up on top that just kept murking me. And then I was just spawned up there right behind them. Oh, look, Admin got kicked for even more. Right. Oh god. The railgun's here. That's why you didn't think about it. There's a fucking anomaly in here. Yeah, up in the middle of the ceiling. He'll like deflect grenades and stuff. Oh, the fuck? My body went. My body went down a hole. Is that you? Get the, Get the G36. Take it off the ground. Hey, my KDR is almost positive. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more stock related content. You should also pick up a copy of Clear Sky and head over to our Discord server where we play it on the weekend sometimes. Until next time guys, I'll see you in the zone.